Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we got all the A-side moons in Bowsette's castle, with the exception of the two that are in the 2D section, which I have a suspicion may be impossible to collect. Uh, you may notice I'm wearing a different outfit and I have more coins. That's because I went back to the Luncheon Kingdom off camera and finished off its purple coins. So that's good. Uh, in this video, we're going to be opening that moon rock because I tried to get into the 2D section off camera as well and it seems to be impossible as far as I can tell. It just doesn't give you enough time to actually jump, unlike every other 2D section because of the way the folding screen opens. Um, so that's disappointing, but uh, we won't let that disappoint us too much. We're going to go ahead and do the B-side of this kingdom now. Uh, so, the moon rock is in sort of the middle of the kingdom, kinda. It's down... You can see it there. Uh, it's down there, where we entered the second half, basically. So we're just gonna make our way down there. There we go. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff to do here, a couple of new sub-areas, a couple other things. As you can see, there's moons all over the place. Uh, let me see, 62, yeah. So, we're aiming for... Well, we're not going to be able to get 20 moons, because that would be getting all of them, but we'll see how we go. Oh, we already did the hint art, just wanted to make sure. Uh, you can see that these, these blocks have now moved around a bit, and this one has now spawned, and it's glowing. There is a moon hidden in there. Uh, so we're going to head up... And get that. So the way you do that is you climb up here. There are a couple of different ways to do it, actually. We're going to do it the most, like, normal way. There's kind of an alternate way of doing it, but we're not going to do it that way. Uh, you just get up here, you get a Pocchio. You do need a Pocchio for the alternate way as well, so we can't skip the Pocchio by doing it in a different way. Which, otherwise, I would have considered doing it in a different way. Uh, accidentally killed it, so let's respawn that Pocchio. There we go. There we go. Okay, so you just bring the Pocchio uh, down here where these uh, spinies are. And you can see the rock is right in front of us and there's bombs falling down. So all we've got to do is just launch a bomb directly at the right spot. It takes a couple, it just takes a couple bombs because there's some other rocks in the way, but it's not hard. There we go. Uh, ba -da -da -da, ba Goodbye, Pocchio. Yeah, it's a good start. One moon. <laughs> uh, if we come over here, uh, we can see that these platforms that had nothing on them now have some stuff on them. Uh, over here, we've got one of these invaders we have to defeat. Uh, so if we just capture a couple of a couple of Goombas, we can get up there and pull up it. Unless I mess it up, in which case we can't. Uh, so I guess these Goombas are aliens, because they're inside the UFO, and the UFO was inside the Moon Rock, so... They're Moon Goombas. Moon... Moon... Moon Goombas. You just have to jump on the top of the UFO, I think maybe twice for this one, but I'm having a little trouble getting up there. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, oops. I think you might be able to just jump from above. Uh, maybe. I think it'll probably be, be, be simpler just to do it this way. Ba -doo -ba -doo, ba -doo -ba -doo. Yeah, this isn't actually hard, I'm just messing it up because I'm bad at video games. There we go. So yeah, it does take two hits. It'll spit out a bunch more Goombas so we can get the second hit. No! <sighs> I got blocked by a Goomba. <laughs> Avoid being blocked by a Goomba at all costs, that's my advice. Um, 
Okay, well, let's head over there again and give it another shot. We do need to do that, of course. I'm a little worried about the notes moon over there. Uh, you're supposed to use a bunch of spinning cap throws, and I usually have trouble pulling them off. Uh, because of the motion control problems. Uh, there are a couple of alternate ways to do it. The last time I did this, I used a Pokio instead. Uh, Pokio spin attack can be done by shaking, but it can also be done just by spinning the, uh, spinning the analog stick, and I found that a lot easier to do without motion. Oh my god. <laughs> Mario! <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's a bit far. I think it's probably easier just to use the Goombas. So you just gotta bop it twice, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it might be three times. I think it's twice, though. Boop. Okay, that's actually easy. Uh, let's put a bunch more Goombas. It's kind of weird that when it kills the Goombas, you don't get a coin. I figured it might be because of coinless stuff, but um, you do get a coin for bopping it on the head, and you also get coins for the Goomba's dying when you bop it on the head, so I, I don't know. It's weird. Um, anyway, there's the moon. Same spot as the previous moon. No, actually, that's not where the previous moon was. That's where the... There wasn't a moon here. There was a statue here. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, that took a bit more effort than I expected. <laughs> uh, over here is another moon we can do. I'm a little worried about this one because of the way we act on poles. Uh, basically, what we have to do is jump onto these little flags here and make our way across to the other side. Uh, because we're holding crouch, we actually slide down the poles if we aren't holding up. Uh, so I'm not actually pushing down or anything, that's just because I'm holding crouch. So I'm a little scared about doing this. Uh, it looks like we should be okay though, we're not having too much trouble. Oh god. I spoke too soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, um, that's not a problem. We just have to redo that from the beginning because the, uh, because keys don't stay collected like a lot of things do that are involved in getting moons. So we actually have to get the key again in order to redo that. Uh, but you get the idea. It wasn't too tricky to do the first time, so we shouldn't have too much of a problem, I think. I've just got to jump on the correct side and it's pretty easy. Okay, I'm just basically holding to the holding right right now, and that's getting me across. And holding right is enough to stop me from sliding down, so it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, so yeah, we just climb back up. Now, if I hold left instead, same sort of deal. Yeah, so I can shift from left to left and down in order to slide down a little bit, just so I'm not too high up on these. Because uh, if you're a bit too high up, you'll be able to catch them to the next one after you've jumped. So yeah, this isn't actually that much harder than normal, so all good. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, let me check what we're up to here. Okay, so we need to do the notes moon. We need a whole bunch of other stuff actually. Uh, I'm gonna head this way and probably come back to that stuff in a bit. But I want to do the earlier ones. Uh, Princess Peach is on this island, so we can go talk to her. Uh, she's wearing a little boo mask on her head. Which is interesting because boos are not in this game in any other capacity. Neither are fire flowers, come to think of it. There's like a giant dragonfly in the middle of the camera there. Yeah! <laughs> uh, I think we can probably all guess what Peach is hinting about. Uh, but for now, we're gonna head back this way because there's more to do. Uh, on the opposite side of this area, there's now a moon we can get. So making our way over here. Oh, we need to actually buy everything with the purple coins in this kingdom, actually. I forgot about that. Um, we have all the purple coins. Uh, we got them in, I think, the previous video. We got all the purple coins to pick it out, but... Oops. Okay, I might respawn where Peach is, or I might respawn somewhere else. I don't know. Uh... Okay, we respawned here, so I'm gonna go to the shop on the way back, just so we can buy the other purple stuff. We do have all the purple coins, I just said that, um, so it's not a problem, but we can just go ahead and do that. Uh, I don't think we need any of them. Uh, we can't actually do the costume room, because that's the 2D room, and it, as far as I can tell, it is in fact impossible. But, uh, and the other costume doesn't unlock anything. But it's nice to have. It's pretty cute. Uh, I would like to buy this headband, thank you change into it. Uh, I'd like to buy that as well. Thank you. 
Change into it. Yep. I'd like to buy that sticker, please. Please stick it on the Odyssey for me. Thank you. I like the idea that the, like, um, the cap staff members just go all the way down to the Odyssey to put this stuff in the right places. It's like, wh how are they doing that exactly? You can only travel through this kingdom by using power lines. Okay, it looks like you're not wearing a hat now because Cappy is just a little headband, which is an interesting decision. Um, actually, since we don't need this outfit, I'm going to just change outfits again. Uh, I've been hinting about this for a little while, but you can get this outfit. You can get Peach's wedding dress and veil. So we can buy a complete outfit here. Uh, and I'm going to go change all in one go. Uh, we come over to the wardrobe over here. Uh, so basically we can go, we can go like a pre-HRT, three years HRT. Cute. And yeah, we can just get Peach's outfit. There we go. Honestly, this is my favorite part of the game. <laughs> Mario rocking that dress. And Cappy looks so great when she's like all veily. Oh, I love her so much. I'm so proud of her. Anyway, uh, so now we're wearing the wedding outfit. Um, and yeah, the game just lets you do that. It's just, just part of the game. It's great. Um, if you talk to, uh, when you go to Balloon World, uh, Green Mario sometimes makes comments about the costumes you're wearing. Uh, for this one, uh, it's it's pretty cute. I'll probably I'll probably talk to Green Mario when we get over there, uh, just to show you what happens. Uh, if we look over here, we can see there's now a keyhole that was not there before, and we can see that there's all these power lines going around and a key down there. So you're going to use the power line basically to make your way down there and get the key. It's not too hard. Uh, but you have to remember, you will die if you don't capture the other power line and get back up there safely. So it's a little tricky, but not too hard. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! As far as I know, there's no other way to get back up there, because you've had to slide so far down the wall to reach the key, but I could be wrong. So, we're done with that island. Uh, over here, there's a couple of things to do. I believe we need a Pocchio, so we're going to go get one. Uh, so the Pocchio over here is the only one we have access to in this, in this area. Uh, but you can see there's now a note over here, or, or a treble clef. There's a treble clef over here, and you pick it up, and there's a bunch of notes on the wall to collect. So basically, this is a Pocchio-based taking notes challenge. Oh no! <laughs> uh, you have to be careful. Some of those parts of the walls are like little metal bits, and Pocchios cannot stab into that bit. And if you don't realize in time, that will happen and you will die. Uh, so, watch out for that. Uh, anyway, uh, this isn't too tricky. I'm just gonna make our way over here. It's a little bit easier to platform up here if you can uncrouch, but it's not too hard while crouching. Uh, the whole backflip cap throw cap bounce combo is really, really good for us in this run. <laughs> As you may guess from the fact that I've used it, like, hundreds of times at this point. <laughs> so yeah, you have to make sure you stab into the white plastery bit of the wall and not the uh, metal part, because that will not be stabbable and you will die. Uh, but yeah, that's how you do that. Get the taking notes, Moon. There we go. Uh, if we... I think we need the Pocchio for the other one as well. Uh, if we come over to the opposite side of this uh, this big wall here, I think we need a Pocchio, I'm not sure. Uh, yes, you can see there's one of those little holes you can poke your beak into. So we're just going to do that again. Uh, and get a moon out of it. Uh, the moon does fly away from us, but that's not a problem. We can climb up there without any trouble. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <laughs> uh, how are we doing? Okay, that's everything on this, like, island of the kingdom, I guess? I don't know. Are these islands? So we're just gonna make our way. Uh, you may have noticed that there's actually a moon floating in the air back here. Uh, you can see it up there. Uh, basically, all you gotta do to get that is use the zappy get coinies thing that power lines do. 
And you grab the moon as well. Yeah! Pretty easy. Uh, there aren't any moons here. There is one moon on the first area, so we're gonna, so gonna head over there. Uh, this one, it's a lot like the one in Forgotten Isle with the butterfly. You have to get really close to uh, that bird over there, the one that's glowing, and throw Cappy. Uh, we didn't have as much trouble as, it, as I'd expected with the one in Forgotten Isle. Hopefully this one will be just as straightforward. Uh, basically, you want to get close enough that the bird gets that little cap icon, and then you want to... Do a flip. Sorry. It's tricky. Um... I believe if we look away, it'll respawn. Nope. Actually, you might need to walk away a bit further. That did the trick. So yeah, you have to hit it with your hat, and it will fly away if you get too close, basically. And it's it's hard. Uh, might take a few tries. Uh, we can see there's a toad down there. Also, green Mario. Uh, we'll be talking talking to them in a second. Just so I can show off the dialogue you get, because it's pretty cute. Okay, this is proving a lot trickier than the one in Forgotten Isle. I took like one try. But this one, not so much. But yeah, you basically just have to hit the bird with Cappy before it flies away. Uh, basically, you have to get nice and close. Nice and close, there we go. Oh yeah, and if you get too close, it just flies off and you can't hit it. Uh, you can't, like, just run up to it because it flies away too, too fast for that. Uh, so it's a bit tricky. I think we can pull it off, but I'm having trouble. Uh, I might just go talk to, to uh, Balloon World friend here. Uh, you get this really cute dialogue here. Whoa, bro, you're getting married and you didn't tell me? You're throwing the outfit for, like, fun? Huh. That is exactly the same dialogue you get if you wear any of the three wedding outfits in the game. So you can wear Mario's, or Bowser's, or Peach's, and you get exactly the same reaction. Which I think was really cool. Um, that's just a really nice detail of the game, in my opinion. Alright, so let's try this bird again. Uh, so yeah, you have to throw from the right distance. It's quite easy, normally, because you can uncrouch and then throw the bird. Throw Cappy at the bird that way, but... Obviously, we, that's not something we can do uh, with our current restrictions. For some reason, the bird respawns when it's off camera. I don't know why. It's an interesting detail. Maybe if we crawl over from this direction, we might have a little more luck. I don't know how close we can get, though. Hmm, I don't think so. I don't think that's going to work any better. Okay, let's give this another shot. This, this sort of same sort of thing worked in Forgotten Isle. Uh, wait, it was just a narrow ledge with nothing on the sides, so it should be possible to do the same basic thing here and get the get the bird that way. Uh, it's just we're having trouble. <laughs> uh, uh, I reckon if I stand maybe on that darker one. That, no, that's too close. Okay. If I stand on this one, still too close, apparently. All right. I'm actually tilting the stick forward as I backflip in order to not go backwards too much, uh, but that might be messing me up. I'm not sure. Uh. For some reason, this one is much harder than the one in Forgotten Isle. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, there is a third one of these in the game. I think it's easier than this one, though. Uh, I am a little worried, however. Uh, Alright. 
Yeah, the bird just seems more likely to fly away than, than the, um, the other fellow. Which is a problem. Okay, if I stand, where is that? That's, uh, okay. Just that line there. Okay, I didn't actually come as close. I guess, I guess Kathy being thrown from that distance got the bird scared? I don't know. I don't know if you can spawn it without actually walking far enough away. There we go. Yeah, this is hard. <laughs> um. Okay, um, maybe if I stand... Actually, maybe if I do like a ground pound jump. Oops. Uh, uh, what I was trying to do there was throw Cappy forward, but I timed it wrong and did a roll instead. Um, but yeah, if you do a ground pound and then immediately tap it, tap um, tap Y, you will do a down cap throw, which goes farther than a regular cap throw. And it might be the easiest way to do this. Maybe we'll see how we go. Uh, let's get back over there. Uh, I might just warp. Back to the Odyssey to do it. There we go. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I think a downward cap throw might be the way to do it because Cappy does go further if you do one of those on the ground. You just have to time it really precisely because uh, the only way I can do a downward cap throw is with a ground pound, and that's also the way to roll at full speed. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's try doing it from here, where the first bird was. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. We might need to get a bit closer to start with, though. Okay. Spin the camera around so the bird respawns. Oop. Yeah, if you press Y before you hit the ground, you'll just do an air dive instead. So the timing is kind of precise. It's normally very easy because you can let go of the crouch button and therefore only be able to do a downwards cap throw when you hit the ground. But here we can't, we obviously can't do that. Uh, maybe a little bit closer. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Maybe here? Oops. Uh, yeah, the timing is really annoying for doing this. Um, spin. I can hear a bird tweeting. There we go. I don't know if that'll work. I, I, I think it might, but I, I can't, I can't really tell. Yeah, using a roll won't work, obviously. Uh, about here, I think. Damn it. Yeah, the timing to do this correctly is very, very tight. You have to do the backflip, and then you have to ground pound as soon as possible so you don't go too far backwards, and then you have to throw Cappy exactly as you hit the ground, not before, because that makes you dive, and not too much after, because that makes you roll. <laughs> this, is, this is a hassle. Okay, just doing the jump was enough to scare that bird off, so clearly I was too close. Um... <laughs> hmm... Okay, we actually spawned at the Odyssey this time, which is a bit of an improvement. It'll save us a little bit of time. 
Uh, it's actually hilariously easy to get up there. I thought you couldn't do it, but y you can. You can just climb up here to get around to the other side of that door. It's very easy. Yes! That's it. That's how you do it. Okay. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! That might have been easier with the Joy-Cons, because you can downwards cap throw just by using a motion with those, but you can't with the Pro-Con. Uh, but with the Pro-Con, it's possible to put a rubber band on it to hold the crouch button, so... <laughs> Trade-offs. Um, Alright, what needs done? Uh, let me see, there's a moon up there. Uh, I'm going to walk all the way to Showdown Arena and do some stuff from that end, I reckon. We should be able to get all the beast summons in this video. This kingdom overall isn't too hard. Uh, except for that one part that I believe is impossible, which is impossibly hard. <laughs> which is the, the hardest kind of hard. Uh, so, there's a moon on this uh, rooftop here, this big one. If you climb up here, you can see that one of these horns is sparkling now. There you go. So, all we gotta do is head up there, throw Cappy on it. Cappy! Cappy voice, Cappy! <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! And that's ten, I think. Ten? Yep, ten. It's kind of hard to tell without the, um, underline from the coin counter showing, because it's exactly ten wide. Uh, which helps a lot. Okay, yeah, we start our way back over here. Uh, we have to do the race again, and there's a few other things up here that need to be done. Uh, there's a timer challenge just here. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, it's one of the easier timer challenges. Uh, but it may be tricky. We'll see how we go. Uh, so you can see the spikes are now gone here. That's because the timer requires us to basically jump off this edge here. Okay, rolling off does not work because you have no control over your momentum. Alright. <laughs> okay, my first try was, was, was not successful, but we should be alright. We should be alright. Uh, this, this shouldn't be too tricky. I'm sure you could see what I was going for there, so... Okay, what we really want is a long jump, if we can get one. There we go. So yeah, you just gotta fall all the way. And that opens up the moon there. You have to grab it before the timer runs out, though. Which is, can be a little tricky. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! But totally doable. Ah, <laughs> uh, what else needs done? Okay, so that's the timer challenge. Uh, there's another, another one. See that pool of water there? The weird pull of water that's somehow flying because the edges are open. Uh, if we just head on down there, you can actually just get into the pool from the sides if you want. I'll just demonstrate that. See? If you go to these crates here at the bottom of the pool, uh, I think these weren't here before, but if you break them now that they are here, there's a moon inside. And it'll go sit over there on that rock. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <laughs> Swim, 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 there we go. How are we doing? Uh, okay, there's the, the, um, two sub areas, plus the notes moon, which I'm a little worried about, uh, plus the race, which I'm not very worried about. Alright, uh, to do the two sub areas, you basically have to climb up this wall here, uh, which you can do from this side, so we will do it from this side, rather than using a pocket to get up there. Just uh, abusing our cap throws, jump cancelling tricks so that we can do a regular triple jump. <laughs> so yeah, these two slingshots are now here. They launch you onto these two uh, rooftops, which each have a pipe on them. Uh, you can see there's another rooftop way over there in the distance, which has the same arrangement. You couldn't reach either of those before because the slingshots weren't there. Oh, this one, right. Uh, this one, I happen to know it can be done without using the dry bones, but I believe it is incredibly difficult, and I'm not sure I'm up to the challenge. Uh, we'll see how we go. Basically, you have to platform around on the sides of this thing to get all the moon shards. 
Uh, however, there is, oops, there is uh, falling rocks and stuff, like a pachinko machine, and also there's some poison at the bottom, so you got to watch out for that. No, I was trying to downwards cap throw again. Uh, the good thing about moon shards is if we get them and then die, we still have them. So we may be able to exploit that to our advantage. Uh, there is also a key moon here though. And that one, we do have to do without dying. So that might be a bit of a hassle. Uh, we're going to jump down here again to see all these, uh, get all these rings. Because we lost a couple coins when we died. And that's a quick way to replenish them. Uh, but yeah, I know for a fact that this can be done without a dry bone. Or at least the moon shards part of it can. I don't know if the other part can. Uh, uh, we may actually have some trouble getting back out of here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, there's a moon shard behind here, I believe. At least there's a heart. Hearts are nice. Is that everything? Just a heart? Ah, oh, okay, that's a bit boring. Uh, can we make our way down here? Uh, you can see there's like a hole down there. We have to get into that. That's going to be a bit tricky, I think. Ah, oh, damn it. If I'd done the wall jump properly, that would have that would have worked, but I, I didn't. Oh my goodness. Anyway, you can get the basic idea of what we're doing. Uh, come over here, there's a bunch more. Oops. No, thank you. So, you're supposed to capture a dry power bone and use them to... Oh, no! Uh, use them to get everything. You can see the key in there. I'm pretty sure we can't do that one without the dry power bone. Because, yeah, even if we get the key, we still have to survive. Oh, my goodness. We still have to survive to get back up and get the moon. But I think we can get all the moon shards without using a dry power bone. So, we'll see how we go. Uh, these outside walls are slidable, which is an interesting uh, feature, I guess. That's two moon shards. That's a pretty good start. Uh, I just bonked against another wall and fell into poison. So yeah, this this is not the best way of doing this. I may grab a power bone just to do it more easily, but I'm so, I want to see how this goes. Uh... Ow! How dare you? Take that. Okay, so let's try this again. Um, so you saw what I was doing. Basically, you want to slide down here. Slide down here. Don't throw Cappy. Bounce off her. And then you can wall jump. Oh! Okay, and again, enough height from that wall jump to go anywhere. I think a power bone is necessary to do that. Judging from that. Hmm. Uh, the wall jumps in this game are sort of bad uh, by design. Uh, because they wanted to encourage using st other stuff, like cap bounces, I think. Uh, but yeah, the power bones basically are identical to the power goombas that we saw back in the Cap Kingdom. Uh, except that they're dry bones, so you can't kill them. Uh, but yeah, that moon shard is very easy to get like this, as you can see. Uh, but very hard to get with regular Mario, as you might expect. Uh, make our way over here, we can grab a whole bunch of coin rings. Uh, and then if we go under here carefully, we can get that key that we need to get the other moon. There we go. So yeah, I don't think there's any possible way to do that one without the power, power bone because you can't grab a key with Cappy and you can't survive. Like, you don't you don't keep the key when you die, so... Yeah, uh... That moon shard's definitely doable without a power bone, but I have one now, so I guess I'll power bone it. I'm collecting all these rings just because I've died a bunch of times. I'm just replenishing the overall count. Uh, there we go. That one I think we could have done with a downwards cap throw, but we didn't. Because I accidentally rolled into the, into the death instead, I think. Maybe you did a dive into the death? One of those. Did the wrong move. Uh, anyway, so that's the basic idea of the sub area. It's very easy done the intended way. It's quite a challenge if you do it as just Mario. But up ba Yeah! Or if you, you know, try to do it as just Mario, it's, it's very hard. ba da ba da ba da ba Yeah! Um, anyway, that's all we gotta do here. Uh, there's another sub area on the other side, so we'll be going there next. Uh... 
I think we want to probably want to take the slingshot over here to get back. Yeah. And it takes you right back to here where we started. Easy peasy. Uh, and then I think I'll try to do the notes. I'll see how, can, how I go. Um, basically, you're intended to use a lot of spinning cap throws to do it because there's a lot of notes in, uh, placed around everywhere and you haven't got much time. Uh, you can do it with the spin from Apokyo instead, and if I have too much trouble doing it with Mario and the spinning cap throws, I will do that. Uh, but hopefully like, we don't have to resort to that. We'll see how we go. Uh, anyway, if we make our way over here... Uh, you can't see it yet because we're not close enough, but there's a slingshot there. That we can take to get up to this sub-area. Which I can't remember. Uh, we'll see what it is in a second. <laughs> oh, this one, right. Uh, yeah, basically you want to climb up this big old structure to reach the top and there's a moon up there. Um, some of this is climbable without using a Pocchio. I believe it is all possible, but it's ridiculously hard to climb up without a Pocchio. Uh, like the other Pocchio climbing challenge area, the problem is that you have to jump on the edges of these tiny platforms as they turn in order to get up there. Uh, which you might understand to be quite difficult. <laughs> um, so I'm probably going to do this with a Pocchio just to avoid everything being a huge hassle forever. Uh... Ow! It's not fair. Uh, firstly, there's a moon around here we can get. You can see there's these crates here. We can break those and then make our way behind them in order to grab that moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! And then the other one is just at the top of the tower. Oh yeah, you can actually go through that pipe when you're, when you're in the Pocchio at all, which is interesting because usually if you go into a pipe with the capture, you'll just exit the capture. Uh, here you actually have to get out of the Pocchio to enter the pipe, which is an interesting decision. Oops. Goodbye, friends. <laughs> Alright, so basically, yeah, we just have to climb to the top of this tower. Uh, I'll try to get as high as I can without actually capturing a Pocchio, but I'm pretty sure I will need to capture one to get to the top. I don't think I have the skills or the patience to do it the other way, all the way to the top. Uh, I know it's possible, though, so... Hmm. Uh, there's a spiny up there, which would normally never bother you, because you'd just go along the side as a Pocchio, but... Uh, we're not doing that, so... Ow. Okay, this is where it starts getting tricky. Uh, you can see... Yeah, uh, if you can poke into these turning wooden things as a Pocchio, and therefore climb up pretty easily, but without the Pocchio, it's very hard. Uh, so I'm going to try to capture this Pocchio if I can manage. There we go. And then you can just climb up here without too much hassle. As you can see, it just keeps going, going with these things that are easy to climb as a Pocchio, but not enough for Mario to platform on normally. Uh, like, it is completely possible to... to whoa! jump on those little tiny ledges between the... Oh god. <laughs> that was scary. Uh, those little tiny gaps that form when these platforms turn. You can jump on that in order to gain more height, but it's really, really precise, and I'm not in the mood. <laughs> uh, what you're supposed to do with that bit there is... You get this Pocchio to the right height, so that you can launch all the way up past this gap. Uh, I'm having a little trouble with it though, as you can see. That's just a trick, right? There we go. See? Easy. And that's it. Um, so yeah, as Mario, you have to jump on those little gaps that form several times in a row in order to reach that first gap. It's it's really, really hard. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! 
Uh, touching that pipe cancelled out the Pocchio, but thankfully didn't make me go straight down the pipe immediately, which would have been a problem. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, all we have left now, uh, we have to do those, do the other note moon, the one I was talking about with the spinning cap throws. Um, we have to do the race. I'm going to save the race for last, probably, because well, maybe I'll do it next. No, uh, no, I'll do, I'll do the notes next. Uh, and there's also a couple of... So once we've done those two, uh, the only two we haven't done are the, is that 2D area that I have a feeling we can't enter. Uh, thankfully that doesn't actually gate anything. Like, it's not like the story 2D areas that we couldn't do in um, Tosta Arena or in New Donk City. Because those gated off a huge amount of moons, whereas these two moons are just two moons. It's not like an important thing in terms of anything else in the game besides those two moons. So it's a bit less frustrating to not be able to get that. Still frustrating, I, I was really hoping we'd have a count of um, 877 because we couldn't get those three that require you to sit down. Yeah, so the problem I'm having is I'm doing the wrong kind of cap throws because motion controls are terrible. <sighs> I'm flicking, the, I'm flicking the, the controls to the side, which is how you're supposed to do a spinning cap throw, but it's still giving me uh, vertical cap throws instead, which is a problem. Oh, yeah, and you haven't got much time. You have to do this quite quickly. Uh, if I need to do this for the Pocchio, I will, so... Um, that, that'll happen, uh, potentially. Ah! Yeah! So close! Uh, I think I can do this. Uh, the timer is separate for each round, so it doesn't matter like how close I am in each section, provided I get to the next section. I'm wasting too much time. Oh god. <sighs> uh, remember to do a spinning cap throw. I need to be in the air. Uh, Thankfully, I can do one if I'm in the air, uh, and Cappy comes back down uh, when I do, so I can actually get the notes that way, but it's it's a lot harder than it otherwise would be. Um, I may want to switch to Joy-Cons, because they seem to be better at picking up the motion for this for doing this move than the Pro-Con is. I just have to hold down ZR to do that, uh, rather than... Oh my god. See, I'm flicking the stick, flicking the analog to the side, I'm not flicking it up or forward. And I'm still not getting what I'm supposed to get. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try switching to Joy-Cons. Uh, I do have a pair Okay, my signal cut out for a second there because lifting the Joy-Cons off of my, uh, off of the Switch made, made it, made it, um, pop out of the dock for a second. Okay, anyway, switching to Joy-Cons. There we go. <sighs> so I can't really rubber band this controller effectively, so I'm just going to hold down the button. Uh, it's a lot less comfortable, obviously, but it should be manageable. Uh, uh, Mario. Uh, I'm going to try putting a rubber band on, see if I can manage it, because this is annoying. Maybe. Oop, okay, uh, I can put a rubber band on, but it won't stay on, so I'm just going to have to hold the button. That's really annoying. 
Alright. Okay, no. Okay, this is not really helping, actually. I'm still not doing the right moves, even though I'm pressing the right buttons. Okay, this is not helping at all. <sighs> going back to the Procon. <laughs> not the album, the Procon. Controllers, change grip order. I'm gonna put my rubber band. <sighs> and I think I might need to do it with the Pocky because the motion controls don't want to play nice. I mean, that was the right thing, that's what I wanted. So, maybe it's gonna play nice now? I don't know why it would suddenly start playing nice. I'm still crouching. <laughs> no, I'm starting problems. But yeah, you can see how much faster it is if you can actually do a spinning cap throw. Uh, I'm just having a little problems managing to pull one off. <sighs> rubber band, rubber band, why won't you stay in place? Ah, I should do it. Because I'm doing the same basic motion, which is flicking the, flicking the controller to the side. Uh, is how you do a spinning cap throw, but sometimes it gives me an up throw, sometimes it gives me a forward throw, and sometimes it actually does give me a spinning cap throw. Um, uh, there is another way to do a spinning cap throw, but it's way too slow to do here. Um, basically, you have to rotate the stick around in order to do a spin jump, and then you can do a cap throw from there. Uh, I don't think I can even do that, though, because I'm crouching. So yeah, if I can't pull this off as Mario, I am going to grab Pocchio and use their spin instead, because it's a bit easier to pull off. Yeah, as you can see, I'm flicking this, the, the, the Procon sideways, and it's still giving me up throws, even though I'm not pushing it up. Also, just flicking it around like this is a really good way to loosen the rubber band, which I don't want. So, that's annoying. Uh... I actually did get that note before it ended, but it, it still ended. <laughs> Alright, I'm grabbing a Pocchio and doing it that way. Basically, with the Pocchio, you also have a little spin attack you can use, but you can just do it by rotating the analog instead of having to um, use motion controls. Just like this. If you just hold the Y button and then spin the analog, it will give you a spin. You can also shake the controller to do it, but you can also just spin the analog, and that's really, really reliable. So, that's the way I'm going to be pulling this off, because the motion controls are garbage, and I can't do it reliably with them. So yeah, as the Pocchio, you just go like this, in various places. Ah, so close. I kind of messed that up. Uh, the Pocchio spin doesn't have as much range as a, as a homing cap throw, so it's actually... As a spinning cap throw, sorry. So it's actually a bit harder this way. Uh, but the controls are so much more reliable, so... Uh, bit of a trade-off, really. Ah, I have one note left. God. 
So the Pocky, I think, is a bit slower than regular Mario, but because we were crouching, it probably ends up a bit faster. <sighs> Still having trouble. Because, yeah, the timing on this is very tight. Uh, if you can pull it off with the motion controls, you're fine, otherwise you messed up. <laughs> That's it. Okay. <sighs> you can see the timing there is very, very tight, and it's hard. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. And yeah, the moon is called taking notes of the spinning throw, even though I did it without a spinning throw, but using a Pocchio. Because spinning throws are just way too hard to pull off because motion controls are bad and Nintendo need to stop. Anyway, uh, if we head over here, we can do the race, which is the last moon that I think is possible to get. Uh, because I don't think it's possible to enter that 2D area. Unfortunately. <sighs> In any case, here we are at Bowsette's Kingdom Master Cup. So it's the same thing as before, um, except the gold coop is a little bit faster. Oh, come on, now I get a spinning throw? Are you serious? <laughs> I don't even want one, I was trying to roll. Anyway, yeah, it's the same race as before, and it's not really any harder. Uh, the Gold Koopa is not fast in this race, so we won't have any trouble. Really easy to clear that gap, just like that. Make our way over here. Basically, the races are usually very easy because of our amazing platforming ability. Not platforming, our amazing rolling ability. Our platforming ability isn't great, which is why the one in the Lost Kingdom was so hard. Uh, but generally, these are pretty easy because we can roll so well. And basically, if you roll enough, you just go real fast. Such as at the speed of sound, for example. So you can clear these steps with long jumps, it's just a little precise. There we go. Easy peasy. Blazing fast, bro. Yeah! Okay, uh, and with that, the B-side is done. Uh, we collected every moon rock moon, and we got the peach moon. Uh, the, on the only two moons we haven't got are the two in the folding screen, which I believe we cannot get, uh, because the folding screen is a really weird 2D area, and entering it works differently from every other 2D area in the game. Uh, in such a way that we seem to immediately exit without any way of avoiding that happening. Which is very annoying. Anyway, we're basically doing the race again in order to leave, because we want to go to the Odyssey. Uh, I could just warp, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to make my way out in the way. See, now I'm getting spinning cap throws, like, all the time when I don't want them. Now that I've actually done it without using spinning cap throws. <sighs> oh well. Doesn't matter, I guess. No, not a big deal. Mario, get up before you get hurt. There we go. 
Uh, okay, well, let's make our way back to the Odyssey now. Um, ba -da 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 -da. And we'll warp on to the next kingdom, I guess. Um, I'm not going to rule out the possibility that we can do those, but we're not going to do them now. Um, the two, um, two demons. It might be possible, but I have a feeling it's not, and I'm not going to wait around and try to do that before we move on. Um, I'm going to move on to the next kingdom and maybe come back to that if we can do it. Uh, I'm just going to cash these in for now. There we go. Bam! Yeah! And move on to the next kingdom. We are nearing the end of the game at this point. Uh, there's one more kingdom from the story, which is this one. Honeyloon Ridge. We, I believe we can get everything in Honeyloon Ridge. There's some more 2D sections, but none of them are weird like the one here in Bowsette's Castle, so we should be okay. We should be okay to get everything once we head over there. Um, hopefully. If we're not, that'll be disappointing, and I'll be sad. Uh, we didn't get any moons here to begin with, because you don't have to, to, to complete the story here. Uh, this whole kingdom, all you have to do is make it over to the, to the wedding hall over there, and do the final boss, normally. Um, but we didn't have to do that, thank thankfully. We just did the normal thing, and we were fine. Uh, I mean, we, di we did do that, what am I talking about? <laughs> I'm talking nonsense. Uh, okay, um, but yeah, so there's a bunch of moons to get here. There's 27 plus the ones in the moon rock, and we haven't got any of them yet, so we'll probably be taking a couple of videos to do that. Uh, I don't know how many. Maybe two or three, I don't know. Whew. But for now, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you can think of a way to get into that 2D area in Bowsette's Castle, please let me know, because I really, really don't want to miss out on those two moons. Uh, because being short five moons instead of three is just even sadder. <laughs> um, but for now, that's it. Thanks for watching. This music's so peaceful.